Greetings! In this video, I want to show you how to test an alternator on a vehicle with a digital multimeter. And I got this particular multimeter off of Amazon. It, it ranges from 20 to 30 bucks. The reason I got this one, it's called a, a Conway KW208, is because of the reviews. It had a lot of good reviews, and it's not that expensive. So we're going to go ahead and charge the, uh, or test out the alternator. Um, I've already tested out the battery and the battery tested good, but that doesn't necessarily mean that my alternator is not bad. So let's go ahead and test it out now. So the first thing you want to do is connect your multimeter to the battery. Of course, you're going to put positive on positive and negative on negative. Positive on positive, negative on negative, and I got the engine off. First, real quick to check the battery, the only thing you can do is check enter in vehicle. Uh, there's battery test, cranking test. We'll go ahead and click enter for battery test. Go click enter now again. And you're going to do regular or flooded. That's number one. And CCA stands for cold cranking amps. Basically, that means how well it does in the weather uh, of the battery. You can Google it. As if you can see there, it says cold cranking amps five so it says cold cranking amps 585 right here and the average cold cranking amps on a car will be anywhere from 500 to 750 go ahead and click enter and so uh, I said it was 585 I already had it preset all right testing it says good needs to be recharged. All right, so we know our battery's good. Now let's test the alternator. So let's go ahead and exit. And we'll go ahead and click check. So you want your you want your battery while it's sitting with the engine not on to be about 12.5 volts. That's DC. 12.5 volts. And when you start the engine, you want it to remain while the engine is on from 13.5 to 14.5. If it goes over to like 16.5, let's say, that means your alternator is bad. If it goes, if it stays at 12.5, even though that your engine has been started, that also means that it's bad. So what we are looking for, we want it to go up from 12.5, which it is right now, to 13.5. So we're gonna do this just like we're checking the vehicle, so it's in the vehicle. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a charging test. Click enter. All right, so it says increase RPM to 2500. So I'm going to go ahead and click enter. And then I'm going to go in my car and rev it up to 2500. So let's click enter. It says testing. All right, let's go ahead and turn it on. All right, and we're going to look at here at the RPMs. It basically said to increase it. To 2500 which is like about right there for 10 seconds well while I'm doing that I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my radio I'm gonna turn on the air conditioner this is basically putting uh, pressure with the electrical system onto the alternator because that's what the alternator does it it charges your battery but it also operates while the engine is on your electrical components so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my headlights and now I'm gonna rev up my engine and keep it on to, to 2500 for at least 10 seconds and of course you can go over 2500 all right so it says charging normal 14.26 volts loaded and unloaded so that basically means that um, that's normal. So you want your, while the vehicle's on, you want your volts to, to stay with the lights on at 14.2. 13.5 is fine as well. But again, if it goes over like to 16 or 17 volts, that means your alternator is defective. And if it stays at 12.5 uh, with the engine on, and especially with your lights on, that means that your uh, alternator is bad. Alright, thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe.